Hello photographers, today I'm going to show you how to create a web gallery in Lightroom CC 2019. And to be clear, we're talking about the newer version of Lightroom that's available as a desktop and a mobile app, not this classic version of Lightroom. In Lightroom Classic, you can create web galleries, but you actually have to have web server space with FTP information. And with Lightroom CC, you don't need any of that. All you need is your Lightroom CC subscription plan or the photography plan, and you're Good to go. So we'll start with desktop and then I'll show you how to do it on mobile. And on the desktop, there's a couple of different ways to approach the sharing. First of all, if you just want to share an album, you can do that. For instance, let's say I want to share this album here of Alyssa. All you have to do to share the full album with every photo in that album is right click on the album name and choose share to web. And when you do that, you get this little dialogue that is very simple. It shows you the link that you can use to share this. You can turn on or off downloads. So if you don't want people to be able to download the images, you just want them to be able to see them, you leave this toggled off. And then you can choose whether or not to show your metadata and whether or not to show location data if it's included. And then you can go further if you want to actually filter it down, let's say you don't want to share the full album, you just want to share the best photos in there. Whether or not you've flagged them as pics or you've made them five stars or whatever, you can filter it. But we're not going to do that for right now. We're just going to hit continue to share the entire album. And once you do, it's almost immediately done. You can see right up here, this link is provided at the top of the album. And if you look over underneath the album title in the library here, you see shared underneath it. So it's telling you that this has been shared. And if I click on this link, it takes me to the web browser and it shows me the shared photos just like that. If I click on these, it brings them up large. But if I right click, you'll notice that there's no ability for me to save the image because we did not give the download option. So that's one way to do it. But now let's say you want to get a little bit more granular in how you share your images. For instance, I have this album here of photos I took with Aaron and Kylie when I was in Vegas last year. And there's a lot of images in here, but I only want to share the best images. To do that, I do the same thing. I right click, I choose share to web, but now I'm going to filter by my criteria. I am going to turn on downloads for this album just so you can see what the download function looks like. And then I'm going to filter this by picks that are also five star. And if I choose continue, it'll create this album now that only has images like this one here that is a pick, you can see the flag right here, and that is labeled as five stars. And if I click this link again, it's going to take me once again to the web, and you're going to see there's actually just one image in that album that is five stars with a pick on it. And you'll also notice over here, this download option. And if I click this, it downloads a full size JPEG to my computer. And there's the JPEG right there. So if you have an album, but you just want to show the best, that's a really super simple and easy way to do it. But let's say you want to share all of the images of a single person or subject that you've taken. For example, I work a lot with Angela May. So I have a lot of different photos of Angela in a lot of different albums. And let's say I want to create a web gallery of all of my best images of Angela. I can't do that by choosing share to web from one album because I have multiple albums of Angela. Now, one thing I could do is manually go through, find all of the best images, create an album, and then share that album. But there's a much easier way to go about it. And that way is to use filters. So what we're going to do is just go up here to all photos because we want access to all of the photos in the library for this search we're about to do. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to search for Angela May. And then I want to filter this out because I don't want all of the bad photos. I just want the good photos. So I'm going to choose this filter option right up here. And I'm going to, again, choose five stars and picked photos. Now I want to share these in a web gallery. All I need to do is hit Command A on my keyboard or Control A on a Windows computer. And that will select all of those images. And I come up here to the share icon, click share to web, and I get that 
option again. Now here, you see the title is just today's date. Well, that's not a very good title. So you can actually click that and change it. And I'm going to change this to Angela May. And again, I'm not going to allow downloads. I'm not going to show the metadata. I'm not going to show the location data. Now I could choose filtering here, but I don't need to filter because I've already filtered through the search terms and the flag and star filters that I use to get this set of photos in the first place. So if I hit continue here, I once again get this link and if I click that, it takes me over to the web and now I have this gallery of my best final images of Angela. Now, let's say you've shared something and you want to unshare it. Unsharing stuff is super, super easy. Over on the left-hand side here, you have your add to icon, you have your photo library, and then you have this here, which is sharing. And underneath that tab, it will show you all of the stuff that you have shared. Let's say I don't wanna share this album of Aaron and Kylie, since there's just one photo in there. All I need to do is right click on it and choose stop sharing. And it is instantly gone. In fact, if I go back to that web page and I try to refresh it, it won't be available anymore. 404, it's gone just like that. So that's how you share from the desktop. So now we're going to switch over to the iPad. So so here we are in Lightroom CC on the iPad. And for starters, sharing an album on here is very similar to doing it on the desktop. There isn't a right click action here, but let's say I wanted to share all of these photos of Noel right here in this album. If I tap the three dots on the side of that album name, I get this menu with a share to web option. And you can see here that the menu is similar but not exactly the same as it was on desktop. So first of all, we have to actually enable sharing. And once it's enabled, you can title the album. So let's call this Noel. And then you can choose your sharing options again, whether or not you wanna allow downloads. With these galleries, people have the opportunity to comment and like the photos. And this is something that you can turn on or off from your iOS device. However, you can't seem to control that from the desktop, which is a little strange. And then of course, the show metadata and show location info. And you have the option under display to filter by stars and flags. So let's say we wanna filter it again by the best photos. And here too, you get some more options because you can choose a theme. And we will go with the photo grid theme and we'll use the dark theme. And then you can hit done. And once done, it creates the share. Now, in order to get the link, you actually have to tap the three dots and go to share to web. And then here you can tap the view on web option. And when you do, that'll open up your browser and it'll show you the album. What you can't do here that you could do on the desktop was create that search filter. So actually that's changed. Adobe just updated Lightroom CC for iOS, not Android, unfortunately. But on iOS, you now can create what they call ad hoc sharing, which is selecting a group of images and creating a share. So I have right here a group of photos of Noel that are all five-star flagged photos. And if I select these photos, I can then go down and tap share, and you see the share to web option and it brings up that sharing menu, and we can enable sharing, we can add the title to it, all of the other normal stuff, and when we choose view on web, it'll take us into the browser, and we can see these photos in this album just like that. So, back to our regularly scheduled video. That's how you create a web gallery using Lightroom CC 2019. It is a super handy feature and it's nice that it's just included as part of the Lightroom CC package. If you have any questions about this or using Lightroom or anything else, let me know down in the comments. And then do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel and then get out there and take some damn photos.